good morning, y'all. Um, I am so excited. Number one, it is my mama's birthday. Happy birthday, Susie Hargis. Whee! Um, and uh, uh, um, 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 and then today also at nine o'clock, I go for hopefully my final doctor's visit for my foot, and he will release me to begin therapy. So I'm still going to be on this awfully ugly boot. But at least I'm work, work it, working my way towards actually walking without assistance of any kind. So I'm so excited. We were supposed to get all kinds of snow and ice and all of that. And I just said, no, God, I want a doctor's appointment and we want school. So God answered and we have nothing but rain. So I am just pumped. Okay. Um, today is February 1st, so it's time for a new um, memory verse, and I wanted to let you know what my memory verse is. It's um, James James 1.19, and it says, My dear brothers, take note of this. When, when anybody says take note of this, you need to take note of it. Okay, it says everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, mm. And slow to become angry. I'm going to stop right there. Um, <laughs> quick to listen. Uh, that's hard. Slow to speak. That's very difficult. And slow to become angry. Now, I think the interesting thing about this is it, it doesn't say um, slow being angry. It says slow to become angry. That is very interesting. So it's like we need to slow down and decide, is this worth getting angry about? Can I get angry and not sin in whatever situation? Slow to even become angry. Slow to become angry, not even get angry. Okay, and then it says, For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. So often we are preached at that, that you can become angry and not sin. Well, God knows that that's very, very, very difficult for us to become angry, to get angry, and not sin. And so he's saying, I need you to just slow down. Just slow down in, in even becoming angry. Why? Because you're angry. your anger very seldom brings about the righteous life that God desires for me. And then one more verse. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent. And humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. I think that's very interesting as well. Get rid of all the junk, but humbly accept the word planted in you. I am deliberately and intentionally planting word in my life this year, every two, two and a half weeks, um, um, because it can save me overall. Salvation, yes, comes by hearing and doing the Word, but also it can save me from everyday situations. When I um, am in a situation I, I want to become angry very quickly, the Spirit can quicken this verse in me because I am planting it in my soul to, um, for Him to uh, bring it forth. All right, girls, I am I'm excited I am pumped. There is something that I need to tell you that is just so cool, but I can't do it today because I don't have time. All right. I love you. Love to hear from you. Love to hear if you have a verse going on. Love to just know you. All right. See you. Bye.